Okay, it's gonna slow it down just a bit. There's our pigs, there's the chickens. You can see the horses over here. Yeah, I like my Easter egg hunts. I like them to where, like, there's eggs everywhere. I don't like the thing where you actually have to go look. I like the thing where you step out there and you're basically stepping on all the eggs. Here we go. Here's the cow. Oh, we're gonna hit the cow! <gasps> Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Tracks. And yes, folks, we are back once again. It's been a while since we played Tracks. Uh, probably been about three weeks. Uh, the last episode we had was actually over here at the new farm area. And that's why we're back here today, because a new update has come out and we can make this a lot more complete now. Uh, right now, the only thing we have in the farm, we have the hay bales, we have the barn, uh, let's see what else. Actually, I think that was about it. Uh, you had some different color uh, blocks, like you can see the hay block down here. Uh, we had the... I don't know if this was new or not. Maybe the mud block was new. That's where we did our fields. So yeah, we created this whole little area. Now, I haven't expanded any more. I know you guys had a lot of great suggestions for new areas, but today we're actually going to be expanding the farm. This farm area is now going to probably... I want to say go over into this side now. Because we have some new objects here, and I'm actually quite excited about these. So, we're going to be checking this out here today, doing a bit of building. If you guys have any suggestions for the Tracks series here, comment below. And if you're enjoying Tracks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Alright, so let's start off with the update itself. I know it's added some items. Uh, even the train itself has gotten something. I believe there's like a horn on the train or some sort of items for it. Uh, but really what we're going to look at here, uh, we've got a new stable. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, what good is a stable without animals? But, yes folks, they've added animals into tracks. Now, the animals I don't believe move. Like, we got a horse here. Uh, do you do horse things? Hold on, let's rotate you around here. Boom. Alright, we're going to call him Rupert. Uh, we got a horse. We got a chicken. All right, hold on, let's get the cow. Let's do from big to small here. There's a cow. Uh, let's go with the, uh, <laughs> I'm learning my shapes here. I'm like, which one's bigger? All right, so the pig, and then we have the chicken. Oh, we can have a tack of the chickens here. These are actually, a. they're kind of adorable. I know they don't have eyes for some reason, but they look awesome. The cow's a bit small, I would say. I'd say the cow needs to be a bit larger, but Overall, really cool items here. So I know we have some other things. Uh, we have a radio tower, which I don't know what we can use this for. Realistically, I think it would just be in the background, like say on one of the uh, mountains here, and go boom. So it's just kind of a background piece. Uh, we also have tractors, which is cool. Uh, we can place this, let's go ahead and stick it right there. I even like how it has a little bit of like a, is that a wood chip or is it just dirty? Maybe it's just dirty. So we've got that, let's see. Now, I know we've got some other items. We've got a flower here. And then, of course, Easter is coming up this weekend, which, by the way, I hope you guys have a great Easter. We have Easter eggs. So we can go on, like, a little Easter egg hunt here. That's kind of cool. We might actually set that up. That's, uh... I really like the colors on that. That is uh, just a nice little touch there. So, we'll set up a little Easter field for the weekend. It's kind of weird. We're, like, going through the seasons. They had some Halloween stuff, which was some pumpkins and stuff like that. Of course, when the game came out, I believe it was before Christmas, so you had the snow. So it's like we're going through the seasons now. So, what we're going to do here today, since we have this new update, we are going to make an expansion to the farm. I think, do we want to keep this elevated? I don't know, I'm going to say we're going to keep this side elevated, and then we'll do another, maybe a branch off from the tracks. Uh, this loop is heading back towards the main town, which is way over there. And then, of course, I gotta remind everybody, nobody ever believes me when I say Space Town. We had a Space Town episode. It's up there. You just can't see it. So if you want to check that out, feel free to go through the Tracks playlist. But, anyways, let's go ahead and start to create a loop. Now, we're going to do a little bit more live building today. I know I had a lot of people request that. They're like, Komodo, you build this stuff. Well, you do the episode intro, and then you just leave. And then you come back and boom, everything's there. And it's like, oh, that's kind of disappointing. I want to see you build stuff. So we're going to do a bit of that. Actually, one thing. Did we gain any? Okay, we don't have any terrain blocks. Okay, it's good to know. All right, so we're going to keep this area of the, arm, uh, the farm, almost said arm, 
uh, flat. So we're going to start down here. And we're going to branch off over to this way. So I got an idea. I kind of got some inspiration uh, from looking at a GIF uh, from the actual post of the update. So we're going to go back into here. Can we actually have a cross section like that? Is that new? Does that work? Hold on. Oh. How come I've never seen that before? Or either that or I've just never noticed the cross sections. All right. I'm a ding dong. All right, so we're going to make this little piece of track come through here. Now, I saw something very neat. Uh, you can get the stable, which we're going to grab it here. Uh, this is going to be like a... This will be the livestock part. Maybe the horse part will be here. Maybe we'll do some cows over here. Uh, but what you can do, you can actually put this to where the track goes through it. So, go boom. I know it would be probably very terrible for the horses inside to have a train literally come through their stable. But, this is cool. So... We're going to do that. Uh, I know some other things you can do. You can actually place animals in this, which I think is a very, very nice touch. So we can go boom. There's a horse there. Uh, let's stick a horse over here. Maybe this will be Rupert Jr. There we go. All right. And we need a pen. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Let's go with I like the wood fence here. Do we want to stick the pen right in the middle here? Or do we want to stick it over to the side? Well, I guess you got to separate the cows. Well, I don't think you have to separate the cows from the horses, but it's probably a good idea. So let me build a pen real quick. All right, so we're creating pens here. I've got a, we're going to call this a horse pen. Uh, we're going to have a small little pen, almost like a little holding, I almost said holding cell. That sounds really wrong for the animal, uh, but we'll have a smaller pen here. Uh, we'll have a chicken one too. I would have loved to have seen a chicken coop. That would have been really cool. Uh, to have with the chickens so let's go ahead and rotate that here okay i really wish uh maybe one day they'll add it i'd like to be able to drag these fences instead of like one at a time that would save me a bit of time when it comes to uh actually placing this so hmm i'm gonna call this the horse pen maybe this would be like a little holding one for them we need a chicken coop let's go ahead do you want to place that in front of this i guess we're going to let's go ahead and place a chicken coop which of course they don't need too much space it's just chickens a lot of times uh farms just kind of let them out uh but i guess that could be a bit of an issue if say there's uh coyotes or something i know they love the taste of chicken that's kind of wrong but it's just kind of the truth all right so let's go here 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 there we go that's a chicken coop i uh, will place some trees and stuff through here and actually make it look a lot better here in a second Hmm, do we want to put pigs on this side? We'll have a big field over here. Uh, let's put pigs on this side, too. So let's go boom, boom, boom. We need to find a house, too. Uh, that's another thing I'd like to see a lot of uh, soon. I'd like to see some more houses. Uh, we're kind of really limited, and they all look like townhouses. They don't really look like country-style houses. All right, so we've got all of our pens ready to go here. We're ready to start placing some animals. Uh, let's get some hay bales out real quick. So let's stick some on the back side of the stable here. Uh, let's get the small ones. Stick one in here in the little holding pen. And then the cows, I believe, are going to be over here. So we'll stick a couple of these out here for food. There we go. And maybe pigs here, chickens here, and horses over here. So let's put a couple on here and there. All right. Let's start grabbing some animals. We'll start with the chickens and stick them down in here. I love the way these things look. This is awesome. Let's go chicken here, chicken there. There we go. Boom. Let's face a couple every which way. Really wish these uh, maybe at least made noise. That would be kind of cool. So we got those. Unfortunately for the pigs, I don't think there's anything for the pigs. Uh, there's no like little food things that I can put in there. So I guess we're just going to stick some pigs in here. There we go. All the little piggies are going to go everywhere. There we go. Uh, a couple more. I don't know how many they normally stick in a pen. We'll see. That looks good. All right. On to the cows. We're going to go ahead and stick some cows out here in the pasture. They're just kind of grazing. There we go. We're going to add some, uh, some trees and all that here in a second. So I know it looks a little strange right now. So we got those. Let's go horses. Horses are going to be out here. This one's going to be just kind of chomping on some food. Put that one up there. We won't put as many horses. I left a little opening over there. And that was really just to uh, lead the horses in and out. And then we'll have like a little holding pen over here. There we go. 
Alright, so I think we've used pretty much all the animals there. Hmm, what else can we add out here? I need to do the Easter egg field somewhere. Just go ahead and stick a tractor uh, by the... Stick it by the stable here. Actually, let's park it out in front. There we go. I probably need to put some tractors at a lot of the other places, too, because it's something that is pretty vital here. So we'll go one there, one here, and... Hmm, we'll stick one over here at the, uh, the little storage area for the hay bales. There we go. Alright, so we have a new piece here. We also have a hedge piece. This will be for, like, hedgerows. Uh, what could we use this for? Kind of feel like we could decorate something with these. I guess you could line these up along the track. That would actually look pretty cool. Maybe leading into the stable? Can we do that? How do these things mesh into each other? Is it going to be a constant gap? Or what if I did that? Actually, that doesn't look bad. I kind of like this. All right, let's go boom, boom, boom. Put those leading into the stable here. All right, let's go ahead and go with some trees. This is where we'll kind of spam all these around here. Uh, oh, I need to get rid of all that stuff here in a second. All right, making the uh, finishing touches here. I'm putting a couple uh, picnic tables out for the workers, just in case they, uh, maybe you're on break or something, get on lunch. Uh, let's see. I guess we should put some of these flower pots out too. These are new. Uh, let's just stick them over here, kind of in the little resting area. We'll stick one there. And rotate that one. Stick that, that one there. Okay. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else I want to put down here. Actually, maybe we should put a silo down here. That would make sense. Uh, let's just stick it over here right by the stable. Boom. There we go. So we got this farm here. Now, one thing I forgot to mention. We had something we were waiting to name. We wanted to name this area, which now we have a new farm. You know what, this area over here, let me go get the name here and I'll put it on the board. Alright, so the name of this area over here is Farmsville. That was the highest rated area name for this whole little section here. Uh, I kind of want to name this something else though. Uh, this feels like this might be a place, since the tracks come through, it could be a place where you actually buy livestock. Which, that would be really cool if they had like a livestock trailer for the trains. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna put another sign out and this one is gonna be named blank So if you guys have any ideas for this area, we will name this right here. There we go So yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. I like the way it looks kind of think I need to add maybe a couple more trees actually in the uh, In the pen or at least the bigger pen areas like the cows and stuff. They might need some more for some shade or something So let's go boom 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 go ahead and add some trees through here perfect all right, I want to say the farm area is complete now. This looks glorious from up here. Oh, yeah, so you got that. You got the crazy tracks, town over there, mountain town, space town, and then the main Komodoville town, which I guess all these outer areas supply. So, what we want to do here, hmm, I'm going to build a plan. I want to add another mountain in here. So, I want to try to separate this area. So, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of these down. I like to kind of make these a little uneven, that way it kind of looks natural, even though it's just a bunch of big squares. So we're going to kind of cut off, we'll go like, say this here, uh, get one down, boom, and then I'll start stacking these. And this is going to kind of cut this area away from the other ones, that way once you go down the tracks, you'll come through like a tunnel and it'll feel like you're actually going somewhere else, which that's going to bring us to our next little theme area. Which I did decide on that. You guys were uh, suggesting a lot of things from the last episode. And I picked one that you guys thought would be cool. Alright, so we've built up the mountains and cliffs all around the area. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for a quick ride though. We haven't gotten to ride through this area. Plus there's something they added to the trains. So we're probably going to start back here. Uh, back in this portion. We won't go through the crazy track. That thing is uh, a little too much. So we'll start here in Greensville. And then we'll uh, see what the new toys are here on the train. Alright, so here we are. We're in the train, just a single engine. Let's go ahead and start cruising here. Uh, they've added a horn so we can be like... <laughs> That's cool. I'm actually kind of glad they added something for the train. They need to keep adding stuff for this train. They need to keep adding stuff to the game. I, I still uh, really like this game. Hold on, we're going to go to the right here. Alright, so let's go... Oop. That takes you back to the main town, that tunnel. And here's the new farm area. Oh, yeah. Alright, so you can take a left to go to Farmsville, but we're actually going to take a right here. 
And there's our livestock. Oh, this looks so awesome from here. All right, let's take a right. Okay, it's gonna slow it down just a bit. There's our pigs, there's the chickens. You can see the horses over here. It kind of gave it a much grander scale once I started adding some of these uh, big terrain pieces around. That's cool. So let's go ahead and cruise into here. Uh, which one did we name Rupert? I think it's this one right there. Hello, Rupert. Hold on, scare Rupert. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to go into the train. There we go. Come on, Rupert. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> I can only picture doing that so many times before that actually gets really annoying. So we're going to pull back through here. Now, I got to figure out where I'm going to do this. It's probably going to be right in this section right here. Okay, so if you continue on, which I'm going to let the train do its thing, it'll take you all the way back to Komodoville, which is over there. But what we're going to do, you guys wanted to see some sort of coastal desert style city, which we do have a sand block. What we're going to do, I think, hmm, do we want to do it from here? Or maybe once we get past, I think we're going to break it off from here. So, all right, this way is going that way. This side of the track goes this way, I believe, or it could be opposite. Where do I need to break this off at? This is going to be a little awkward for me. Uh, let's go from here. So we're going to go give you the option to take this section here, which is in turn is going to turn you around, but we're going to go over the tracks. Uh, did I angle that right? Oh, I angled that so poorly. Oh, let's go back one. Let's go from this. There we go. So we go boom, boom. I'll need to delete that uh, tree, which is in the way. Hold on, tree. Uh, this is going swell. All right, so third time's a charm here. Let's go boom, swing around, up, up, up. Actually, that should be far enough. So yes, this is gonna take you to the new section. Now, I'll need to make a loop angling out of this to get you back down into here, which I think we would need to kind of, I'm thinking this like an overpass. We'll have to come back down into this one uh, to get back on the, uh, the normal loop. So we'll stop there. Now, I'm not going to build the whole town today. I want your guys' uh, feedback on it, but I'm going to build the bases of the town. And I want to see what it looks like if I try to make, like, an ocean. So, this will be the first time that we've used the actual sand block. Which, it is not bad looking. I actually, it's like one of the textures that actually does look like what it's supposed to be. That looks like sand. Like, this stone texture, eh, it kind of looks like stone. I would like it to look a little bit more rigid, but this looks nice. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm going to lay down the foundation real quick. All right, so we've kind of started our little coastal area. So, this is going to be a tough area. That's why I want your guys' feedback as to what you think I can put in here. I'm kind of limited on props. I don't have a bunch of, like, coastal props. So, we're going to have to get creative when it comes to this. But, let me show you this over here. So, the track is going to feed in through here, which I guess we can go ahead and somewhat do that. Uh... <laughs> I don't like where this track's gone. Let's, uh, can we back off this here, here? There we go. So we'll come in this way. Uh, we're gonna do a rough loop. I don't know if this is gonna be the final loop or not, so we'll come over, come through, oh, say like this. We can make a circle here. We can go right along the coast. Now, I did create, like, a little island out there. I don't know if we're gonna use it or not. We might. Uh, one idea I do have for this area out here is to a lot of times you'll see like a, maybe like a harbor with uh, I guess you can put some factories and stuff out here. I don't have boats though. Uh, boats would be really nice, but that's not a thing in tracks. So we're just going to create this rough kind of loop here. That way we can get it back over to the main track. So we'll come back out here. And then, ooh, how do I want to do this? This is going to be awkward. I guess, huh. I guess it needs to go back actually that way. Correct? I don't know, I'm getting my traffic all screwed up here. No, I think I'm gonna force it to come back. I could do, no, I don't wanna do that. Uh, let's go down, down, actually turn, then down, down, that's to the ground there, and then boom, right? I think that's the way I wanna loop that. It looks a little awkward. I might have to, can the track supports do anything for this? Uh, I don't know if I actually do I want the track supports here. Sometimes the track supports might actually go into each other. Let's see. Will that work? Let's go there. Oh, yeah, it's going to be awkward. So if I go like that, that looks okay. And does that work? No, that doesn't even work either. Whoo. 
Might look a little rough. I'll have to clean that area up. But yeah, you would come up through here. You'll be in the coastal area. Now, what I do like about this area, if you're down low, it does actually, like, legit look like an ocean. Uh, I'll probably have to expand it along. I'm kind of making, like, a jetty come out this way. That way I can kind of uh, block some of this area off. But, like I said, this is going to be left up to you guys. Uh, we're not going to do really anything else on this area today. Uh, but we will uh, eventually come back and work on it, probably next episode. So... We've gotten that done. We got our farm done. We're going to eventually come out through here. We still have this blank area here. And look at how much map we still have here. It's absolutely insane. Man, I'm still going for that biggest tracks map on YouTube. All right, so the last thing we're going to do, we're going to do something very temporary here. We're going to set up a little Easter egg hunt thing. Actually, I got two things I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and see how many different types of eggs and stuff we have here. That is actually really nice looking. Uh, is it just two colors? Is that more than... Oh, that's more than two colors. Yeah, you've got the... What was that? Purple or pink? I guess it's purple, pink, blue, yellow. You got the green, white. And then, oh, here's another color. You've got the... Uh, this is like a red, white, and blue. Okay, so let's keep putting some eggs out here. I have like a big old Easter egg hunt out here. This is actually really nice looking. Just kind of decorate there. They didn't give us any Easter bunnies or anything. We should have had some bunnies for animals. Could have spread some of those out here, too. Yeah, I like my Easter egg hunts. I like them to where, like, there's eggs everywhere. I don't like the thing where you actually have to go look. I like the thing where you step out there and you're basically stepping all on, like, on all the eggs. So let's do that. Let's add some trees out here. Now, this is kind of a rough thing. I might come back and clean this up a bit. But I just want to have a bunch of eggs out here. There we go. So we're going to put some trees down. Uh, we'll put some bushes down too. There we go. Uh, there we go. So we're setting up a nice little Easter egg hunt. This will be in a nice big field. There we go. All right. So we've got that. I think that is pretty much what we've covered so far. Like we've got everything uh, for the update. We got the animals. You got the new train items, the tractor, the new buildings. Uh, you'll still see some things in my inventory say new, but they're not actually, like, new stuff. It's uh, a bunch of old stuff right now. So, yeah. We're gonna do one last thing. Uh, oh, actually, two things. I wanna see if this works. What happens if I put an animal on the track? Do we actually knock it over? There's some items you can actually knock over in the game. And I know this is wrong, but let's just try it real quick. <laughs> let's put Mr. Cow. We'll put, oh, we'll call her Bessie. We'll put it right there. That looks so wrong. All right, let's go here with the train. Let's reset it. And we're also going to go by the uh, the new little Easter egg field and check that out, too, from the train's perspective. All right, here we come up on the stable area once again. Make sure this is going to take a right. Here we go. Here's the cow. Oh, we're going to hit the cow. <gasps> what? You know, I actually didn't picture that was going to stop us. I thought we would work through it. That cow is heavy. All right. Well, let's get moving again. Uh, we'll go visit the the new coastal area, even though it's not decorated right now. I just want to experience that, experience the loop, and we'll shoot around to the Easter egg field. So we want to take, I think it's going to be a right. So we'll go boom, boom. Okay, we're coming up to the coastal area. What does this look like from down here? Oh, this is neat. There we go. So you got the sand out here. You got the ocean. It's a little blurry, but once we get up to it, the motion blur, the depth of field gets a lot better. There we go. So we got the ocean out here, which I like the way it fades out so it actually looks like it just goes on forever. That's cool. So we're going to come around this area. There could be towns, factories, all sorts of goodies out here. I would like to actually see a boat, some sort of boat, maybe a cargo ship. Uh, that would be pretty neat going through here. All right, we're coming out of the loop now, so I gotta remember we... I think we just go with this. It's gonna spit us back out on the track here, so... There we go. And there's our Easter egg hunt that's going on. That is cool. Some of these eggs are huge. Could you imagine how much candy's in these eggs? I mean, the train's this size, and the eggs are almost as tall as the train, if not taller. That is cool. And then this just leads us all the way back. There's the exit from the space town. And we'll go all the way back into Komodoville. So yeah, I think we made quite a bit of progress here today. Uh, if you want to see more tracks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Like I said, I'm always, always open for suggestions. 
So if you have anything that you do want to see me build, I do remember that I am kind of limited on the parts, so we have to make some sort of a, like say with the coastal town, I think we'll have to make some sort of shortcut sometimes because I don't have all the parts available, but uh, I'll try to do the best I can here. But anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tracks. I want you to have a good Easter weekend, and we will see you guys next time.